It's wood that's rejected, reclaimed, and ultimately repurposed. And the resulting furniture, which comes from very humble beginnings, has found its way into some pretty nice digs around the globe. Wealthy individuals as well as companies like the Hilton and uh, Four Seasons, the Ritz Hotel, Starbucks. Born out of what he saw as a need for West Coast furniture to complement the architecture of the area, along with a love of wood that is not perfect, John Lohr created Live Edge Furniture. It brings nature inside, so it needs to reflect West Coast nature, which tends to be mountainous and uh, rainforest. So we're using large amounts of wood, big big pieces of wood, leaving natural elements on the wood. So we're using logs or big slabs, introducing a few rock elements periodically as well. Interesting patterns in the wood, knot holes, sometimes rot, exactly what the sawmills don't want and therefore reject. John snaps up this throwaway wood and turns it into furniture with character. Well, there isn't much of a market for big leaf maple especially if it isn't, you know, beautiful, straight, white, colored log. So a lot of that stuff ends up getting chopped up for firewood or just left behind uh, if it's out in the bush. And it's these flaws and imperfections that give each piece of furniture its uniqueness. In the shop, which employs 20 workers to craft the individual pieces, it's anything but a factory. No two things are really alike. There's always something different and every piece of wood throws you a curve somewhere. So you gotta figure out how to deal with it. Each furniture piece literally tells a story. The tide pool is a dining room table made from a maple that died of old age. The rod in the middle is the impetus for the theme. Just because the glass gives you a feeling of, of a pool of water in the middle, and we put in some real beach rocks that are, are sort of rounded by by the tides. Live Edge focuses mostly on tables but does custom orders of practically anything. They say that they are always looking for trees, dead or barely alive, and the big ones are what they need most. Reporting in Duncan for Shaw TV, I'm Terry Church.